Can you guys hug your partner? Yes, hug your partners. Le Petit Prince has always been a part of my life. It was part of my life early on when I was a, when I was a kid growing up uh, in Quebec. My parents read it to me numerous times. I thought about it as very much a philosophical story that I'd like to apply to my own life, in a sense. The rediscovery of the story has been really interesting for me because I read the story when I was a kid, and I don't know if I really liked the story all that much, but reading it as an adult, I did like it a lot. So through dance, I thought it would be such a beautiful way to express this delicate and simple story. I received an email from Guillaume Cote. We met up for coffee and he told me he thought that my music and my particular musical vision was appropriate for this project. And so we've been on this journey together ever since. So over the past two years now, We've had multiple workshops that have allowed us to circulate the themes of Le Petit Prince. And we asked ourselves, what is uh, Le Petit Prince about, really? And our discovery was that it's about being an adult and sort of this journey and what we lose along that journey to adulthood. One of the delights of having workshops is we were able to discover a little bit about the behavior of the people. And that came out of the choreography. So I would say, in a way, the design springs from what I learned in the choreographic workshops. The first thing that we had to do was, was really learn about each other's work, because without kind of understanding each other's art, I think, uh, we had to be on the same page. What's quite interesting about having the ability to workshop something with all those people together, because you have the choreographer, and you have the composer, and you have me, and you have the dancers. And there is an alchemy of collaboration that takes place when you have all those people together. Right from the get-go, Guillaume told me, don't worry too much about the steps. That's sort of my territory in terms of choreographing to the music. But the music has to come first, and it has to come from the heart and, and with your integrity. And so well, I basically wrote music to this ballet as though I was writing a concert piece, but with the little prince in the back of my mind. And it was important to get the tone right and to develop a kind of musical language that was unique to this particular project. You know, what's really exciting about, you know, a project like this is that, you know, and for, for me being a participant in the project is that I get to hear it being interpreted through music and then I get to see it interpreted through dance. And then on another level, I get to try to interpret it through design. I think it's been an incredibly fruitful, collaborative experience. Everyone's been very helpful at trying to make this production happen, and it's so many uh, pieces that have to come together in order for this to be a successful outcome. So I'm very grateful that everyone that's been working on this is as passionate about it as I am.